Well, I mean, a launch window is the culmination of all of the inputs that dictate when a rocket can fly. So it has to do with when the payloads are ready, when the rocket and the rocket system is ready, when the regulatory framework is in place, and where, where and the and the coordination of airspace and and across all the parties, and so that's what really dictates the launch window. Um, our launch window opens tomorrow night uh, with a number of opportunities over the next couple of weeks. We're always uh, geared towards and focused on the beginning of the window, which is why we're here today. Um, but we will be looking very carefully at the readiness of the system as we uh, process forward. Right now, everything is green. Uh, the rocket was armed yesterday. Um, and we're, we'll be loading fuel later today. So we're, we're in full motion right now, gearing towards a launch tomorrow. That said, um, if we see anything interesting that we want to stop and pause and look at relative to the system health, um, if winds uh, or precipitation or lightning or something like that is in the area, we will look very closely. We're going to pr proceed cautiously on this flight. Uh, we're in different airspace than we've flown before. Our pilots are ready, but we want to make sure we give them every opportunity for a successful mission. Sure. I mean, um, you know, our, our, the airplane is a very robust airplane. It's a 747. Uh, we do keep an eye on crosswinds because we have a rocket under wing. Uh, and then, uh, although we certainly have the ability to fly above the clouds and we do our launch above the clouds, you know, we want to make sure that things like triggered lightning or other items uh, are not in the, uh, a possibility. And so we, we do stay very close uh, to the Met Office, and we've gotten some very good uh, uh, support uh, from the local Met Office here. Uh, I highly appreciate that, so thanks. Jordan Wright, the angry astronaut. Um, I watched Cosmic Girl land in October. I think you guys were hoping to launch in November, and clearly that hasn't happened. Um, and I'm curious, given the delays, regardless of what may have caused them, has that impacted your future plans of launching from the United Kingdom? You know, we, we knew this was not going to be um, a, a piece of cake when we took the, on this, op this opportunity. Um, we've worked very closely with uh, the UK Space Agency, the CAA, uh, Spaceport, Cornwall, as well as um, you know the international community for airspace. Um, I think we've all learned a lot in doing that. Um, I, I think you know, like any first, the first time you do it is difficult. The second time, you already know, um, you know, and can can anticipate. And so the, the short answer is we're excited to be here today. We're excited about the future um, and coming back um, maybe as soon as later this year um, to, to, to launch again and, and hopefully get a rhythm going. We, we want to be um, a part of the, the fabric of the uh, space community here in the UK as well as uh, globally. Uh, that's our objective as a company, and I think, I think there's great opportunity. I'd, I'd, I'd like to add to that as well, um, and I'm sure you know Jordan as well. When you look at programs like SLS and NASA, which has had a number of delays, of course, until it's got to its first launch, and, um, and similarly with the likes of ABL, who are another partner that we're working with for Scottish launches, then um, they're waiting for their first flight as well. Because, because it's, it's difficult, right? So it's important to make sure that you get to a safe successful launch uh, rather than rush towards failure. And in terms of does it impact on subsequent launches here from the UK, I would say abs absolutely not. Um, our role here of course is to create a commercially sustainable launch capability, uh, but also it's ensuring that we step through the regulations that we've, we've put in place through primary legislation. There are inevitably things that we are learning uh, from that as well as we go along and take that at the right pace in order to make sure that it can be successful, it can build confidence across the sector, and then people want to come back and launch from the UK and they see it as a good place to do business, as, long as, of as, as well as, of course, being inspired by the event itself. <laughs> <laughs>